being nerfed for one. The hardest second. part about taking care of our baby was just like in general remembering the baby and making sure that like because like if you're in a class and then you know you're learning, you're studying, you're practicing, you're focused on that and when you leave the class you just remember to take your backpack and whatever papers you need. So usually like there's times where I would forget the baby for like half a second but I would turn back and save the day. So you know, I mean, we would always like thankfully nothing ever happened where we really left the baby for a long time. But yeah, other than that, just making sure that that um, that nobody messed with the baby because I don't know a lot of people wanted to mess with it and uh, keeping it intact, like making sure that it didn't fall or, or anything happened to it because I know it would have holes in it and the baby would die. But yeah, pretty much just remembering the baby. Um, I think another thing that was really difficult to um, deal with the baby was treating it like it was an actual baby when in reality, like it was just a sack of sugar. Um, I think like we had to really use our imaginations and really like recreate um, like a, a scenario where like this was a real baby and we were actually taking care of it and um, put like a serious side onto the project when it, like we could just I don't know, screw around but we, I think we took it seriously. Yeah. And like, we definitely did a good job. Well enough to remember the baby because right. I mean, compared to other people we never had incidents like dropping the baby or anything like that. Mm -hmm. We kept it in good shape, um, made sure to take care of it, and remembered it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. For this project, the thing that our personalities were worked pretty well together because um, in general we already knew each other before the project, so so it wasn't like starting off it wasn't awkward. Um, like already we could text each other, whatever, we knew. Uh, there wasn't any conflict in schedules like when we would take care of the baby because she had a different schedule than I did. So. The weekend that I would take, she knew that she that she was gonna be able to take the next one, and and yeah, like there wasn't really any real conflict between that. We never really fought either. Like we always kind of um, went, or we always like clashed well together with our personalities. Like we never really had any like, difficulties or arguments. Um, and it was it was fun. Like we put a fun side to it. Um, <laughs> Or put a fun side. <laughs> okay, yeah, made but, a fun side. Yeah, yeah, like it wasn't it wasn't boring <laughs> or whatever. Like we try to at least have fun with the project, right. but at the same time we took it seriously. So there wasn't. So, yeah, yeah, we didn't argue about like like we, none of us, uh, neither of us were like, oh no, I don't want to take care of the baby today, even though I can. So we were both like, I guess, mature about it. We could handle right. taking care of the baby whenever it was needed, and like just uh, bringing our carriers every day that that we needed to bring them to make sure that. Uh, the baby was safe and that, you know, nobody would try to mess with it or whatever. But in, in general, I think that we made a pretty good um, couple for the baby because, uh, yeah, we were just like, I don't know, we, I guess we clicked for this project. One of our weaknesses, though, for taking care of the baby was um, that we, like, I don't know, it was, it was kind of like remembering it, huh? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but that's like the only thing. So that we had that in common, but like because of that, we just reminded each other, like, hey, yeah. don't remember it. I mean, don't forget it. Don't forget it. And yeah, everything worked out. Okay, so with cystic fibrosis, I think that it's a pretty like rough disease to deal with, especially when when the baby is like a baby, like he's not um, a teenager or anything, because already a lot of babies like struggle. Um, a lot of them like at night randomly they'll they'll like forget to to breathe, and this baby with cystic fibrosis like. Um, we know that's gonna have a lot of chest pain and um, overall like a lot of coughing and a lot of sickness so I feel like if it's hard because we always need to we would always have to know where our baby is and know what our baby um, or child in general is doing because if if anything happens like if, if our child um, if she was to stop breathing for some reason or she would uh, be choking um, or not getting enough air in we would have to be able to react and nobody else would really know how to because we're the only ones that know like okay this is what she has uh, we could give her medicine or a shot like whatever is needed uh, and probably a lot of things that our child wouldn't be able to do is like run a lot because then you know like if she would lose her breath um, most people just you know they they sit down and then they, they regenerate um, their breathing like they could go back to normal but for our child, it would be way harder for her to breathe, and she, I think that she would overall go through a lot of pain. So it would be emotionally rough because if we're at work or something, we're, we're constantly thinking, like, um, we're constantly worried in general that something might happen to her and she won't know how to react or other people won't know how to react. I also think one of the scariest parts would be if she develops it, like, later in life, that if we ever 
um, like started to notice the symptoms like um, dry skin or um, what would it be? like just the constant coughing right. and everything because there's always that so us both being carriers of it like it would just um, yeah that constant reminder of like we she did could this be, to her yeah it was it's yeah so me. there's there's that side of it also but just I mean it's just um, I guess getting used to it but it would definitely be hard knowing that you know she can't really take care of herself at a young age until you know maybe she's a teenager and she knows how to react or what to say to people to get their attention but before that it's just rough knowing that she could she could lose her breath any minute and we're not there to help her or, or any of that <clears throat> what so. we can do is just like um, teach her like what to do in the situation so she's like prepared and uh, already knows what like how to take care of herself I think yeah. that's the most important thing it would definitely be hard yeah, but definitely. I think we'll get through it. Well, before the project, I don't think that I was that I would have been ready to have a, to have a baby, and uh, after the project, I still don't think that I'll be like ready to have a baby because I don't know. I guess it just like well, it's, it's pretty hard to tell because it's a big difference from sugar and an actual baby. But I don't know who would want to have a baby at this age when like you have you have so many other things to worry about. Like there was no. Like, the baby was nothing but a burden. Like, I would just have to carry him all around. And when instead of, like, I would pick up my papers and then forget the baby. So then I would have to go back and then get the baby. But, yeah, I honestly don't think that I would be ready to be, to have a baby. Not at this age. Like, later, yeah, obviously. But at this age, like, I'm pretty sure that it's more important to focus on myself and schoolwork than, than having to walk around and taking care of a little crying, annoying baby. So, in general... No, I don't think I'll be ready to have a baby. I think that my partner has been doing, like, did a pretty good job because she, like, she, did, she didn't mind uh, when, it was, like, when it was her turn to take the baby, she took it without, like, making a big deal out of it or complaining. That's probably because, like, uh, I guess, like, we are both okay with taking them, like, one weekend and then the other weekend the other person would take it. So, like, just early on, we planned on, we planned when we would have the baby, when, who would have the baby at what time so there wouldn't be any conflict between that and yeah i mean she never i think like once and that was like the last the last day she forgot the baby in the restroom or something but that was like the only time that that she kind of messed up like other than that she um she always took care of it and everything she was the one that uh got the carrier for it and like she she remembered to always bring it to school even when we didn't have bio <clears throat> and uh yeah, like it was just a good. She was just a good partner because we both like our schedules or whatever synced pretty well. Like we didn't have to worry about uh, not um, not being able to take care of it at the same time. So it's good. I don't think that I would be able to have a baby right now just because um, I'm young. First off, that's kind of obvious, and I don't think that I'm mentally or emotionally prepared to have. Um, something to take care of like a child because that's just so much um there's so much effort that needs to be put into that and so much time and care and love and um right now I think I just need to focus on myself um also I have a really busy schedule right now and I know that I wouldn't be able to like take care of it I wouldn't be able to put my full effort into taking care of it so um I think that I would be better off waiting until I'm older, much older, around, I think 30 is a good age, 30, it's a good age, um, but right now I don't think that I would be able to have a child in my life, or I don't think that I'll be able to take care of it either. Alex has been a very good father to our baby, he's been very responsible, he's, he's never forgotten it anywhere, he's always been taking care of it. Also, um, we've had a very good understanding of each other's schedules and been able to like work around each other and like what we had to do. Um, so we've been very good with time management and also he's been very like patient when like if a day I like couldn't take a baby, couldn't take the baby, he would be like, okay, that's fine, like I'll take it. And then days that like I, he couldn't take it, I would be very understanding and be like, okay, I'll take it. Um, he was a really good father because he always like made sure he was carrying it around everywhere and also like we didn't get into any arguments. He was um, very like 
kind and um, I don't nothing else really um, happened between us in involving like arguments or um, disputes so it was very like um, relaxed and like laid back and it was not difficult it was felt like it was very easy a highlight with our baby was definitely um, being able to take care of it and like not having any problems with like losing it or having it be cracked open or like break or um, drop it or have other people like report our baby that was always a good thing um, also a highlight was that I learned a lot from this project with um, involving like child care and I know that I'm not ready to have a baby right now and I know that it takes a lot more than what we did in this project to have a baby and I kind of like saw that side of this project. Um, also a low light of this project was that I had a baby to take care of and I had to carry it around everywhere with me. Um, I had to remember it, I had like a little little sack of sugar always by my side and it was difficult at times because um, I had to make sure like it wasn't cracked anywhere or anything like that. So, um, overall I thought this was like really good reality, like a view on reality with the baby and I, don't, I actually really enjoyed it, I thought it was cool.